Hi everybody, in today's video we're taking a look at the Canon EOS 1300D, the quote-unquote entry-level DSLR, as Canon says. Just a disclaimer, we're not sponsored to make this video, but really, enjoy this video, it's gonna be a good one, stick around till the end, where I'll give you my best tips to use the Canon DSLR like a pro. First of all, let's have a look at the design of the Canon 1300D. Now at the moment we're using the kit lens, which is the 18 to 55mm kit lens, which equals to a 6x zoom. Just give you guys a real quick test of what that actually zoom actually is. So I'm going to give you guys a quick test of what the actual zoom is. So, so this is zoomed out all the way. And then this... It's zoomed in all the way. So that's how far the zoom is, six times zoom. It's okay, and it's a pretty, the lens, right, first of all, the lens is really, really good. The build quality of the Canon 1300D is quite good. This grip on the side is amazing. When I was holding it with one hand, this grip is an amazing grip. It's very sturdy in the hand, very, very good. And overall, the build quality of this camera is amazing, which it should be. Okay, so the actual control of the camera. Now, at the beginning, the first time I looked at this camera, I was having trouble trying to figure out what it was, because as I said, this is my actual very, very first DSLR. I was playing around with it, and for a fact, I actually figured out it was pretty easy. The menu... When you go to the menu, it is actually very, very easy to go around. It's easy to have a look at images. It's easy to it's easy to have a look at images. You simply press on this middle button here, and you can view all of the other images that we've done, and videos as well. If you happen to take videos as well, you can change ISO. You can do white balance. Okay, you can do all of that. You can change the display. Of what you actually want displayed if you want nothing some information more information even more information I set it to this one if you press on this it will do an automatic type of autofocus thing now if you look up at the top here this is the dial very very amazing dial I think the video mode on this is amazing because as I said I'm a vlogger mostly use this camera for YouTubing making videos these other modes include night portrait, food, sports, close up, landscape, portrait, creative audio, flash off. So I'm gonna show you guys. I want to show you guys the difference between flash on and flash off. All right. So what they mean by flash on is when you go take a photo, brings up this, brings up this flash. All right. If we go take a photo, it gives you a flash, alright? It gives you a flash, and you can see, you know, there's the flash of my hands while we were trying to do the recording. So this is what flash on gives you this flash. Now, I believe this flash does not work in video, so you need to get an external light that connects, like, for example, up here. And also, what this is also for, I believe it's called a hot shoe mount, or whatever you call it. This is perfect for like road video like me, where it goes on like that, or something else like that. Another thing guys, taking photos with this camera is amazing, okay? For example, we had, we had this object focusing in on the object and actually taking the photo with flash on is amazing. Photos actually went pretty good, and as you can see with some of those examples, that is good. Also, the video mode is amazing as well. The zoom, six times zoom is what we're actually working with today. And the focus is amazing. You can see we can focus with the lens blurred in, or we can focus it with the background out. Okay, video is amazing. You can simply press on this button here to actually view the actual video. That is another amazing thing about this camera. Also, if you guys actually don't know how to actually attach the lens to the actual body, I'm going to show you, right? So, right, you've got these two here, right? And I also recommend to actually turn off your camera 
before you actually take off the lens. So you've got your objects, you've got your lens, and you've also got this. You see this here, and you see this here. Go like this, and then you twist. Some and it takes a while. Go like this, and then you twist, and then it will lock in. All right. That's how you turn on. That's how you actually put the lens on. It took me about one hour to get the lens on because I didn't know how to do it. Yeah, you know that's me. Now, if you've been a follower of this YouTube channel for a while, you're gonna know that I have really never experienced with the DSLR. This is my extremely first DSLR, and even Canon says it's the entry-level DSLR. We were actually choosing between Canon or Nikon, and I decided, you know, we're just gonna go Canon. Maybe for the next DSLR like Emma, we will go for Nikon, but I quite like Canon controls, and it's an amazing camera. Just a disclaimer, there's actually a port here, where if you open it up, and we just zoom in here, you can actually see that you've actually got ports and stuff where you can actually plug in like an external microphone or something like that. That's that's another thing that's real convenient about this camera. Because I was actually going to go for a Canon Power Short Point and Shoot camera uh, before I actually found this, but I realized that's got no thing where you, that you can't, you know, turn like you can't plug in an external microphone, which you can with this camera. Another thing I love about this camera that it has Wi-Fi and NFC. Now, no, unfortunately, the video does not have Bluetooth, but it does have Wi-Fi and NFC. And you actually need to you actually need to download an app to actually you need to download an app to actually use this. The app will be in the description down below. But guys, really, this camera is amazing. The menu you can actually adjust the LED brightness. Or is it going to keep it down or it stuffs up with the camera? But this is an amazing camera, okay? No doubt about that. You've actually also got to auto power off. I'd set it, I'd disable it. But I, I set it, I personally set it to four minutes. You can also change the video resolution. For example, we want the highest, which is 1920 by 1080 at 25 frames per second, okay? That's the one we want. And you can do AF, which means autofocus. We're going to go live mode, because that's the best way to go. And you can you can change the settings here if you would like. You can go to the picture style, custom white balance, audio lighting, auto lighting optimizer. You know, this camera is amazing. What are my final thoughts on this camera? The Canon 1300D. It's an amazing camera, okay? I think as for an entry level day, it's like Canon done an amazing job. Canon, you guys are amazing, right? Canon, I personally love all of your cameras, okay? Canon, you guys are all amazing. And personally, I really want to continue to actually get stuff with your company in the future. You know, I would rate this camera a 9.5 out of 10. Alright? This is an amazing. I also have other lenses. You can actually, and all the thing is a good thing is with Canon cameras, all of the actual lenses are universal. Say, say, say how we've got the Canon 1300D now. If I was to go and if I was to go get, say, a different lens, say, say if I was to go buy like the 80D and get like a, a different lens, that lens would work with the Canon 1300D. So it's really good that all of these lenses they're actually all universal with Canon cameras. Unlike Nikon. If I'm wrong there, please correct me in the comments down below. So guys, overall this camera, as I said, 9.5 out of 10. It's an amazing camera, guys. And really, shout out to Canon. They are legends, not sponsored. And thanks for watching, guys. And don't forget to thumbs up, share, and do not forget to subscribe. I'm off to go take some photos. By the way, yes, we are using my S7 Edge to record this. Probably the last time I'm actually going to be using an S7 Edge for videos. See, using the S7 Edge to record. Thanks for watching this video. Bye bye.